Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Striker Break. It's Friday Night Fire. You know what that means? Lots of good hits, lots of big hits, lots of fire getting pulled. It has to happen after that awesome thumbnail that I made. I mean, come on. We're going to have some people in the house clicking on that thing. I guarantee it. We're going to start out the show looking at tonight's slate. We're just going to see what's good. Well, first of all, 640. Slightly early. Weird times this season. It seems like the Tigers play early every day. I don't know what's up with that. But we got a 10-run total here in Cincy. Barrios and the Blue Jays are the away team. Slight favorites, minus 148 against Brett Kennedy. Yeah, I know. Makes sense, I guess. So they're saying that the Blue Jays are going to win this matchup because Brett Kennedy is a common pitcher. Boston at New York Classic Series, Brian Bayo versus Johnny Brito. You know, we got a plus 110 Yankees at home, which is rare to be dogs at home, for the Yankees to be dogs at home. Brian Bale's pretty good. I think there might be an opportunity right here. But I'm not making, I'm not giving anybody suggestions. Lorenzen. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves Michael Lorenzen now, don't they? Minus 176, the Phillies on the road at the Nationals. They should win this matchup. Is there going to be a hangover? For Michael Lorenzen. I don't know, but that looks like a good bet. However, you know, you got to lay 176 to win 100. And there's always that chance that the righty gets tore up. There's some lefties in the lineup that can do a little bit of damage, but we also have some real, real names down here Jake Alou, Vargas, and Rutherford. Tigers, 0.5. That's not right. But it's 70 degrees in Cleveland. Xavion Curry's on the mound and Joey Wentz. That that should be a 1-0.5 if I was setting the line. Couple of gas cans on the mound, potentially. I don't know what Xavion Curry's all about, but I do know what Joey Wentz is all about, and he's all about giving up runs. Alex Cobb for the Giants at the Braves tonight. Mr. Strider going to get, I don't know, a dozen strikeouts against the Giants? They're running a lot of lefties out there, as they always do, and a switch hitter. So you might think, oh, Strider might have his work cut. No, they're minus 240 at home. It is in Atlanta, 83 degrees, so we will see some fireworks on one side, and this is the side that we will see the fireworks. I predict the Braves are going to spank the Giants, spank them real hard, give them a red bottom. Brandon Woodruff. At Texas against Andrew Heaney. This is a little closer than I thought. Minus 126, but Woodruff is really good, and Heaney is fairly good. This is going to be a fun matchup right here. I'm looking forward to watching that. Pirates at Twins. Pablo Lopez having a great season. Eight and a half runs, 80 degrees there in Minnesota against Andre Jackson for the Pirates. Something tells me besides that minus 230 number, that the Twins are going to take this one. Mariners at Astros, one of the hottest players in the entire world is leading off in Julio Rodriguez. They're on the road. Astros are favorites, but the Mariners are hot. We'll see if Cade Marlowe has anything to say about it. Mets at Cardinal Zach Thompson and Joey Lakesh. we got a couple of lefties. And usually when you got a couple of lefties on the mound, that means there's going to be some runs scored. And Vegas thinks that there's going to be about nine scored. Mets are dogs on the road, as they should be, but the Cardinals aren't that good either. A couple of underachieving teams going up against each other tonight. There is a game in course, so we're going to see a lot of runs here. 12-run total. Kopech versus Lambert. A lot of runs here, like I said. Raise it, Angels. Coin flip. Nine and a half run. Just a straight up. Who's, Vegas doesn't know who's going to win. Neither do I. But I would guess the Rays. We don't have a lineup out yet for the Rays. And a watered down, troutless Angels team with Tyler Anderson 
versus Erasmo Ramirez. That's the problem right there, Ramirez for the Rays. Otherwise, that number would be like minus 140, probably. Although the Rays are missing a key player as well. Baltimore at Oakland. I mean, the you know, look at look at this mess. Look at this mess over here at starting pitcher. Ugh, I don't even like to look at it. Orioles should easily win that matchup. Diamondbacks at Padres. The disappointment continues for the Padres. We'll see what these superstars can do. Kim, Tatis, Soto, Machado, Bogarts, Cronenworth, Sanchez, Cooper, Grisham. I mean, they should put up some runs. It's tough to score runs in San Diego, but against that pitcher, I think they should at least put up five runs tonight and get the W, but the Diamondbacks are really good, so... There's no telling. Minus 168 at home is a pretty juicy number, but if you like the Diamondbacks, you're getting plus 142. I don't really know what to say there, although I do like Seth Lugo much better than this dude. And then finally, I'll contract Gonsolin. Gonsolin picked it up a little bit as of late, but he's been slumping for the most part of the season, and Alcantara's had his lumps as well. Eight and a half total. Dodgers are only minus 142 against the Marlins at home. Very interesting. We got a full lineup here, and JD's back. Mookie, Freeman, Will Smith, Muncie, JD, Peralta, Hayward, Outman, Rojas. That seems like a dub to me. Only minus 142 as well. Typically, Dodgers at home are like minus 180. So I don't know what's going on there. Obviously, Alcantara is playing into that number big time. Can you keep it up? Only time will tell. Are you ready? I'm ready. That was all straight off the cuff. I just decided to do that at the last second. I haven't even looked at it. I'm a pro. Speaking of a pro, we're going to open this, and I'm going to produce some hits. 2022 Tops Update. How's it going, everybody? Kyle, I noticed, came in real early, dropping gifted memberships, and you should too. When you got legends like Kyle giving free memberships away to people, you might as well get here early. Just turn the stream on. Even if you got stuff to do, just run it in the background. We're going to quick rip this. We're looking for Bobbies and Julios. I mean, just look at the game logs. Just look at their game logs. Julio is crazy. He made a slight swing adjustment. A very minor swing adjustment. And it's paying dividends. And it's exciting. I think Harris is going to have a big game tonight, eh? I'll be the judge of that. Oh, he's batting second. Aha. Aha. Now I see where you're coming from. Yeah, Michael Harris batting second against Alex Cobb, the righty. Typically in the past, Alex Cobb has been somewhat of a reverse splits pitcher, if I recall correctly. Could be wrong about that, but I thought he had a, a little bit of a rever reverse split action going on, which, you know what? I don't think major league managers believe in that, which a lot of statisticians don't believe in the whole reverse splits thing because the sample size is, especially for a hitter, sample size is usually pretty small for a hitter, but uh, it normalizes quicker on the pitching end. What game should I watch tonight? What game's that? I don't have anything on it. Can't watch the Tigers because of the stupid blackout. Why would you? Why would you black out your fans from watching the product? Ridiculous. Although I am wearing the gear, head to toe Tigers gear today. Do you think Riley Green is undervalued in the hobby? No. I think he's valued properly. He's got to, you know, put a healthy season together. Full, full season. He's still really young. But I think pretty much everybody is priced properly. Except I think Volpe is priced a little too high. Uh, Yoshida's a little too high. Young's a little too low, maybe. Gorman's a little too low. Casas a little too low. Oh, Hoppy, a little too high. 
So my previous statement where everybody's priced properly, just disregard that after I thought about it for a second. It's never gonna be perfect. There's gonna be inefficiencies here and there that you can exploit. King, you left a member chat. Let me let me check it out. Let me swing back up here. King Emmanuel with a 13-month hitter chat. That thumbnail, fire. Happy ripping. Thank you. I spent a long time on it. Hope. I hope you like it. Okay. A whole 24 count retail box. If you're wondering what that what that is, what it's all about. 24 count retail box. They are, I don't know what they cost right now, but they are probably, oh, look at that. Julio debut right on back. Typically the 24 count retail boxes, they start out like when a product first releases. They start out and they're really cheap and they're like, you know, a pretty good deal. But there's so many other formats and blaster boxes are usually uh, blasters and hanger boxes are usually priced too cheap relative to the increase in hobby and jumbo prices that always happen. We got a gold Drew Smiley. And then the hobbies go up, the jumbos go up, and then the hangers and blasters go up. And typically the retail 24 count retail boxes lag behind a little bit. People don't really think about buying that because usually these packs are just kind of hanging out in the store, literally hanging in the store. They usually don't put these 24 count boxes on the shelf, just full unopened. They're meant to be rack packs. Look at this. We got a parallel auto. Be someone good. Juan Gonzalez. I'll be. I, I like that. I can't believe we just pulled this out of a retail box. That's going to be number to 50. I mean, you're, you're not guaranteed anything out of one of these re retail boxes. Let alone an autograph. I mean, you get a you get a relic, you're you're thinking, okay, I didn't even pay for that. Like, at least that's what I think. I tend to think like I got a freebie. That's why I call them freebies. I'm not guaranteed anything. There's Julio. Black gold. So I bought a. Well, I guess I shouldn't tell you because I'm gonna open it on the channel. I bought a couple cards. They're coming in. I got a weird email from Tops today too. Did you guys happen to get, it, it was an email saying that, saying that my order, my pre-orders for Topps Chrome shipped. They shipped like a month ago. And I just got the email saying that they shipped out today. And I'm like, are they gonna send me some bonus ones? You know, of course not, of course they're not. But I thought maybe, maybe it's my lucky day. Nah, they just sent it a month late. There's Trout. Any good pulls lately? What are we ripping? What are we ripping today? What are we ripping tonight? Anybody doing a simultaneous rip? Good luck to you if you are. Clambino with a four ninety nine. Happy Friday, Striker. I need a Cunha Mullins. And Jazz, stolen bases for a massive win. Also just pre-ordered a case of 23 Bowman Chrome. Ethan Salas is my chase. Thanks for the donation and good luck with those stolen bases. Black Gold Judge. Must, have be, must be running a parlay. If you're running a parlay with stolen bases, may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> That's not an easy one to... I know they're more prevalent. I'm having, I'm struggling with this pack. They're, they're like all over. There. Okay. Now we're back on track. See, I'll take that. Stolen bases are not like, you just think, you think like, oh, okay. Jazz is getting on base or Acuna or Mullins. One of the, one of those guys, oh, they're going to get on base for sure. At least once. And then they'll steal a base when they get on. I don't think parlays are the way to go in baseball. From experience, every time I run a parlay, I get smoked. I think the way to to 
bet on to, you know, let's, let's be careful here. To put credits on a particular event or outcome. I think the way to do that in baseball is to straight up take the money line. AJ Pollock. At least for me, what has been successful is picking a team with a number that looks juicy or even appropriate with a good pitcher. You take the good pitcher on the road, typically, or if you have a good pitcher on a bad team at home, if you because you, you got to deal with all these negative odds, you know, like if let's say. Let's find the best one tonight. Okay, Michael Lorenzen. It's weird thinking that. 3,000 hits for Miggy, by the way, blue. But it's weird saying Michael Lorenzen is a good pitcher still, even after everything. But he is. So he's minus 176 on the road. I don't like that one as much, even though when we went through it, I was like, hmm. But I still have this apprehension. Like, the Phillies are a better team than the Nationals, period. But I don't know that Lorenzen is the kind of guy that I could trust on the road. He's not like Strider. You know, you get you get Strider on the road. And they're going to take a couple of points away from the away team. And I think that's where like the, the juice is. Potentially. Look at that Bryce. Blue all-star game, Bryce. These are pretty rare. I'm not going to put that on the stage, but I am going to top load it along with the 3000 Miggy. A couple of secondary hits, you know, the gift that keeps on giving. 2022 tops update. This box is not bad already. Two good blues, nice rainbow foil, vintage stock, and a parallel autograph of Juan Gonzalez so far. And we still got quite a bit more. We're doing four breaks tonight. Chrome Crawford. And the breaks are going to be a little different. First two breaks are going to be the same. And then we kind of up our game a little bit. Clambino with another 499. I always do a stolen base parlay for a couple bucks. 99.9% .9 of the time I lose. But when I do, plus 21,000 makes it worth it. Yeah. I know what you mean, man. It's fun when you see those odds ticking up. You know, you add a stolen base in and bloop, odds bump up. You add, man, okay, maybe you get to duck. The fun one is, you know, when you pick a home run. Luke Maley and Perdomo. We're getting the parallels like we should. There's Bobby. I just, you know, it's much funner to make a parlay because then you've got all these outcomes you're rooting for. But like I said, if you want the most straightforward path to victory where you don't have to sweat a whole bunch of outcomes, just the, the money line and just one at a time. Paredes, maybe that's why FanDuel's not sponsoring me yet. I'm telling people not to run parlays. Listen, FanDuel, change my mind. You can change my mind. Well, these first couple breaks are going to be pretty quick. Like I said, we got some value mixers in here. We're up in our game, though, right away. We're going from paper to chrome. Eric with a $10 super chat. It says, good vibes. Hit that like button. Do you own a Phillies hat? My five-year-old wants to send you one to wear on stream. Keep up the great work. I don't own a Phillies hat, Eric, but I would be glad to ha to own one and to sport one on the channel. That is one hat that I need. I do like the Phillies, and I love Croc. And I guess I got a little soft spot for Lorenzen, too. I mean, I'm a Bryce fan. I... Castellanos. I have a history with Castellanos. Trey Turner, legend. It's really weird seeing Trey Turner in the sixth. Betting sixth. Isn't that weird to anybody else? 
What's up, Jeff? A lot of gold for retail. Yeah, I'm, you get a lot of golds. Those retail boxes are banging, man. The more I open them, the more I like them too. I feel like the ceiling maybe not as high as especially a jumbo box. Jumbo box has the ceiling. I think everybody knows that and understands that. But as far as the value goes, it's always going to be floating around based on price between hanger boxes. It's most likely going to be between hanger boxes and those retail boxes. Blaster boxes are shortly behind them. And the only reason the value is, I feel that maybe the value is not quite, like it, it can fluctuate and you can get there, but it's those manufactured relics. They eat up a chunk of, of the price. And unless you get really lucky, like I did, most of the time you're going to end up with kind of a skunk. Although, you know, they do have value. Those really thick batting helmet cards that are super heavy and awkward and you can't ship them in a standard envelope. You got to actually charge like $4.99 shipping. So you got to find somebody who wants to pay $4.99 plus like a buck, two bucks, five bucks maybe for whatever, you know, manufactured batting helmet relic card. It's just something to consider. But as the prices adjust, you know, maybe there's a sale on blaster boxes. I have plenty, like, I've got a whole case of these blaster boxes sitting on the shelf because I, at the time, and probably still, maybe, I mean, I haven't looked at prices in a while, but at the time, those those blasters were the best value. People slept on them. Everybody went out and they bought all the hanger boxes, and the price of the hangers just went up like crazy. They doubled in price. Oh, even more. 2.5x. They got all the way up to like 30 bucks a piece for a hanger box. And the blasters stayed the same. So I was like, well, now the blasters are the deal. And after a while, the blasters catch up. You know, it's just a supply and demand thing. Everybody went in, bought all the hanger boxes. So they had tons of blasters sitting around. They remained the same price. Until people start eating those up, chewing them up. Steven with a dollar ninety nine. Did you get any twenty three signature series retired? I have not yet. When does that even come out? I'm not really a signature series retired kind of guy. I don't really like that release at all. I will get some maybe, but it's not my favorite. I'm the ultra modern guy. I like the new new. You know, the older fellas getting autos from the older fellas. If they're a Hall of Famer, it's awesome. But if they're just like some guy that played a little while and they got a cheap sig so they're going to put it in their you know depends on the price too i think the price out the gate was like 95 bucks or something maybe you could you could have got them cheaper but for the active player it was only 80 a box guys check out my ebay store i'll drop you a link Ooh, that is sweet i like that a lot Oh, look at that color match going on. That's a banger. Julio rookie cup card to 199 going to Seattle. All right, I got to minimize. Pull up. Let's see. We'll start shouting some people out here. Brennan, congratulations. That's a nice card. Aqua Lava. Look at that. Very nice. Around seventy a box, yeah. I thought I saw. Let me uh, let me pull a blowout real quick, just to so I can quote you some accurate prices here. The thing that has me interested, which I haven't ordered any of these yet either, but pro debut is sixty seven, sixty eight bucks a box, and you get four autographs. Four autos for 68 bucks. It's not a Breakers Delight type of rip. Breakers don't like, I'm not ripping it as a break. But I might get some to do like individual box breaks for people. I haven't done any of those in a while. Look at this. Look at this. We got an orange auto out of our hobby box. Could be a monster. Come on. Come on. Nelson Velasquez to 25. Going to the Cubs. Gerald, congratulations. And you know what? He is not 28 years old. He's a position player, rookie for a big market team. So 
Sweet. Let's go through this. I'll drop you a link to my eBay store. I've spent a lot of time listing cards lately. Jordan Walker Refractor. About a $15 card. Give or take. I just sold one for $15. Adley. Blue Cal Stevenson, rookie, to 150. Spencer Steer, refractor. We've got a couple nice refractors out of here. Kale Rally. We'll get an autograph on the board. I prefer, I prefer this, you know, the active players. Plus, I've opened up enough of it right now to know that it's good. The checklist is good. I haven't even looked into the retired players checklist to see if it's anything great. Cubs trade Velasquez to the Royals for relief pitching at the deadline. Oh, okay. Sweet. What do we have here? Let's take a sneak peek. It looks like a horizontal card, judging by that number right there. So let's turn it over. It's wit. Whit Merrifield to 36, Royals version. Something about Whit on the Blue Jays that just doesn't quite, I don't know what it is. Like the colors are similar. It's just like he's not, like when he was on the Royals, he was their best player. But now that he's on the Blue Jays, he's like their... I don't know, fifth best player or something. So it's just kind of weird. One cent coming in with the truth says, Pro Debut is one of the best bang for your buck boxes every year. You can almost always make your money back on a box. Smaller stakes, but 2022 Pro Debut has Ellie and his auto is like 450 bucks now. Good point. Yeah, I, I think that Pro Debut is like an individual type of opening kind of thing. Like, you look if you're looking for something fun to rip, you and your kid or something, and you got it's affordable enough where you can get four autographs. Start your kid's uh, collection out that way. It's gonna be a lot of prospects playing for a lot of teams that you don't recognize because it's a lot of minor, all minor league teams. But you cannot beat that price for autographs. Four hundred and forty-four people in here. Yeah, hit that like button. Let's spread this around, guys. The more likes. The more shares, the more watch time. We get more people in here. Striker breaks the international sensation. Worldwide. Prestige. Yeah, Wit is a baller. I like Wit. Imagine how Wit feels. He probably feels fortunate to be playing for a winner. I've seen some interviews and I've heard some reports of like, he's got a good attitude for the most part. And he, he feels like he's still in his prime, which he's not, but he feels like he is. So that's good to hear. He's still really good, but he's not prime Whit Merrifield. What's the best card you ever pulled? I got it right here. No, it's not for sale. It's mine. No one can have it ever. There's no price that could be paid. Oh, striker, but you said everything's got a price. Not that. Your fancy <laughs> football team is prestige worldwide. Boats and hoes, baby. What would we do if they cut Stryker out of breaking altogether? Other question, what would Stryker do? I would just have to take over the world. 
Emperor of the Galaxy. Could be my next endeavor. I have so much confidence in my abilities that I th believe that I could do anything I wanted and be successful at it. Dykeman. To 199. Another Cubs hit. Kidding me? Two Cubs autos right away. Gerald is loving it. Having the night of his life. There he is. Matthew, welcome. Thanks for joining. Matthew just became a hitter. Round of applause. Steven with $1.99. Do you think 2024 cards will be Ellie Mania? Yeah, I do. They're going to be Ellie Mania. We're going to, I mean, it never stops, guys. The ride never stops. Just get on board and go with it. There's always a new player that's super hot, super good, super collectible. You just got to ride the wave and just go with it. Go wherever the wave takes you. And remember, my people, my friends, remember, you buy low and you sell high. Okay, that means when a player's super hot and their prices are super high, that's the time you sell. I know you want to buy. I do too. I'm just like you. Jaron Duran to 100. That's a standworthy card, I think. Nice rookie color. Low number to 100. But, and I'll tell you, listen, you got to practice what you preach. I'm just trying to tell you and then reinforce it in my own mind. Because I want to buy a bunch of Bobby cards. And I did buy one. But I want, like, his stuff is still really affordable. And he is a boss Josh Hader like we're since we're living in it and I've been saying this ever since 22 update but since we're living in it it's hard to fully appreciate the quality of that release Clemente refractor weird one but those two players Julio and Bobby are already setting records lots of different records for players in their first two season, home run and stolen base totals. Julio setting records for, uh, or joining the ranks of like legendary Mariners. It's, we're living in it though. So, and it's, a, it's still sort of small sample size. But those guys are special. Orange Wave. Satchel. Orange Wave Satchel to 25. Is that a Cardinals hit then? St. Louis Browns? Scott Mills? Where did the Browns turn into? Did they turn into the Cardinals? That's who's going that's who it's going to. It's it's based on team. Not city. That's why the Expos go to the Nationals, etc. Buster to a hundred. Orioles. All right. Orioles it is. Jacob, going to you. Yeah, obviously they didn't turn into the Cardinals. I don't know why I said that. We got two boxes left in the value mixer number one. Note to the slammers. Oh, yeah. I said I was going to drop a link. I Sometimes I just get in that zone and I forget all the things that I have planned. Ooh, where are the links? There they are. All right, here we go. I just put a sale on my eBay store for this weekend. Ends on Sunday. There's a link. You know what? I'll drop a couple of them just, just because. 
And if you want to get in on the breaks, if you like this channel, you like what I do, and you want to support the cause, consider becoming a slammer. That's the Patreon group, and that's how you get into a break. Slammers get notified when I post a break. They get a link sent directly through Patreon, and it comes right to your phone. Link comes to your phone. You can buy in if you want. I randomize the teams before the break so that everything flows real smoothly and there's more privacy. And then we crush. I've been selling the breaks the day before because that gives me plenty of time to deal with the issues. There's always many issues. Accidental buy-ins, double buy-ins, I need a refund, blah, blah. There's just wrong address. There's tons of things that go wrong. It's fine. I just need more time to deal with it. So I've been selling them out the day before, and that works way better. So much less stressful for me. But here we are with some tops finest. We're going to get two autographs out of this master box right here. Cards look AI generated. Well, they just look like they have a filter, a simple filter. They just took a pick and ran it through like a cartoon filter or something. Eric with a $10 donation wants to hear the jingle. Those other guys don't got what it takes for a real good time at Striker Breaks. Thank you, Eric. Hey, Trim. It's going well. I apologize if I miss anybody's chat. Um, you know, got a lot going on in my mind. In my mind and in front of my eyes. Got to check out that Outman and this rookie gunner. Finest Outman autograph. Fine indeed. Going to Daryl. Congratulations. New eBay bidding rules. Um, if it means they have to pay for things and like no shill bidding and stuff like that, I'm all for it. Purple Libertor to 250. Nolan Gorman to 199. That'll play. Duran's got a glare. What's up, Vino? Jeff loves the new eBay bidding rules. I've been selling cards like crazy. I haven't been auctioning any off, just doing best. Buy it now with best offer on there. Wheeling and dealing with people. You think you should sell back the MVPs? Yeah, if it, like the buyback program? Uh, yeah. Yes, I do think you should. I, I think that's a an amazing deal that Tops has provided us. Cause I so I've got no tiny X Fractor, right? And I'm because I was on the fence with that. Like, should I should I try to gem this up, send it to PSA? Should I sell it raw? Should I try to get the 40 bucks and buy back for you know what what's it what's the best play here? I think I'm just gonna send it back. Get some credit for it. I don't feel like dealing with all the other things that come with it. And I'm kind of like leaning towards that more and more. Hey, there's the guy tonight on the mound, Bayo to 175. More and more, I'm leaning towards just like listing things raw or just like the easiest way of dealing with the cards. Like I put in a, a decent, and this is part, part of the reason why, but I put in a decent PSA order recently. Conforto to 300. It just took so long. I was like, why don't I just sell these things raw? 
Kyle Stowers. Like you're not going to make as much money doing that, but time is money. So Kyle Stowers auto. We got a gunner here. Put Bayo up there. I think Ellie will keep value through next year. Depends on what he does for the remainder of the season. He needs to just keep it up. He's just got to keep it up. He's got to get that batting average up a little bit. People like to see the batting average up closer to 300. A little more pop. Everybody knows he can steal bases. Keep hitting home runs. Keep the exit velocity high. Underlying stats. Making contact. Stop striking out so much. He needs to do all those things. But here's the deal. As soon as the season's over, nothing's going to happen, probably, to change the value at all. The only thing that might happen is more hype until the next season starts. And if the next season starts and he isn't insane, then his value will drop. It's inevitable. It happens with everybody. And that, like, you saw what happened with Bobby and Julio this year. They didn't automatically come out of the gate as MVPs. And that's what you have to do. And so because of that, the values of their cards dropped, which a lot of smart, savvy people called. Nice prism trout. A lot of savvy collectors who've been in the game for a long time were screaming it from the mountaintop. Julio's value's too high. Bobby's value's too high. You know, haters, whatever. But they're, they're right. You got to prove it longer. And so now they're actually uh, on that upward trend they're back into the zone they're back like you know they're two of the best players in the league right now at least over the last 30 days and the thing about julio is he can do it on the defensive end too that's why you know like him and bobby on the offensive side of the ball are quite similar but on the defensive side julio's much better like julio's a crazy outs above average guy superstar athletic ability out in the outfield so he can get he can get it done multiple ways jonah bride but bobby's still struggling a little bit on the defensive end it's the only thing kind of holding him back like if he really takes a lot of time and figures out maybe he needs to work with um, a hall of famer or something out there to to figure it out or maybe he needs to switch positions or something yeah, the inside the park homer. Yeah, Bobby's in, like, both of those guys are so exciting. Oh, look what we have here. Corbin Carroll to 399. That is a juicy hit. Going to James. James, were you starting to get a little worried? That you were just going to get some base cards. Don't you worry. I got you covered. So Bobby's got a 3.7 war this season. 120 OPS plus, which is well above, well, his career average is 110. His on base is better. His slugging is better. His OPS is better. 34 stolen bases, 276. His batting average is better. Like he's better everywhere. Um, his defensive, war, his defensive war is much better this year. So he, he is getting better on defense and he is better on defense. So just trending upward in almost every direction is Bobby. There's Gunner. And the mullet is looking top tier. <laughs> oh, Jeff says, I'm so mad for not grabbing some affordable Bobby first Bowman auto PSA 10s at the national. There were several. Oh, yo, yo. Yeah, that would have been, I bet you we could have got some cheap there or like at least affordably. 
I'm still like racking my brain. I, I there just weren't that many Nolan Jones Prism. It's nice. There just weren't that many ultra modern baseball dealers with tons of cards out in front. You know, there were a few. But that's that goes right back to that thing where you buy low, sell high, right? Like he wasn't lighting the world on fire at that point necessarily. He's just kind of picked it up like big time in the last month, I guess. Um, last couple weeks. There's a Brett Beatty auto. Here's a potential buy low guy. You can probably get this auto for, you know, maybe like 30-ish bucks. And you never know. I like it. I just picked up a Beatty Auto. Riley Refractor. Pulled a couple of these. And I decided I'm just going to PC them, my Riley refractors. Because they're not going for that much. And they're just worth more to me. Royce Lewis, by low guy. Yeah, but he keeps getting hurt, doesn't he? But that is that is part of the by low equation. Is usually they're low because they're going through a slump or they got hurt. But the problem with... Like Royce Lewis, for example. So he's got a he's got a one point four career war, and he's twenty four years old. So he's like right at that threshold. Like if he would have played a full season last year and played all the games, he's only had a hundred and eight plate appearances this year. And he when he was playing, he was starting to pick it up, you know, turn it on a little bit, starting to look like the guy everybody thought that he was, and then another injury. It's just it's frustrating. <laughs> okay, we get it. Royce Lewis. Buy a low guy. <laughs> I guess that just reinforced things a little bit. Do we put him on the stage because of that? That's just weird. I think so. I think that's a that's a destiny. Stage worthy. Stand worthy. Another auto? Caleb Killian. So two base autos, unfortunate. Out of here. Two base. And a refractor. Kind of the low end of a jumbo. You're hoping to get two, two parallels. Parallel autos. It's the last box in break number one. We're moving on to break number two. How heavy have you been into Spencer Strider cards? Uh... Not that heavy. And show you my collection. It's right next to me. Here's my Strider collection. I got a few others besides this, but boom, boom. Firsts. True blue to 150. First edition first to 150. Clayton, what are you sneaking in there for, silly boy? Purple to 250. Refractor. You're green to 99. Sky blue. I also have a PSA 10 Bowman rookie yellow to 75. I don't think I have any Strider autos.
We're going to do one more break just like this afterwards. But first, we're going to look at the hits. And then we're moving on to high roller and then a mega high roller. Riley Refractor, Conforto to 300, Stowers Auto, Libertor to 250, Buster to 100, Hater to 150, Perez to 199, Stevenson to 150. Got those cool blues, Bryce, All Star Blue, and 3000 Hit, Miggy Retail Blue. And Royce Lewis to 199, Killian Bass, Duran to 100. Dykeman Refractor Auto to 199, Velasquez to 25, Julio Color Match, Aqua Lava to 199, Torkelson Rainbow Foil Rookie, Gorman Rookie to 199, Bayo to 175, Satchel Page to 25, Pollock, that's a vintage stock to 99, Juan Gonzalez Auto, freebie out of our retail box to 50, Nice Corbin to 399. Brett Beatty Auto, Base Auto, and James Outman, Finest Base Auto. Jonah Bride to $4.99, Refractor, and Whit Merrifield to Next week, we got Pristine coming out. Let me change the graphics. We're on break number two. anything golf snobby with a 17 month Just don't go flooding my ungraded market striker I mean I would prefer like if it was just if I had all the time in the world I'd get everything graded that I could take some risks maybe but too much else Basically the, you know, when I'm doing PC stuff, PC rips, it's like a break even kind of game. It's not that exciting. <laughs> Just trying to break even. Favorite box to rip? I'm having a blast ripping 23 tops Chrome. It's the gift that keeps on giving. But the sneaky thing right now that I keep thinking about, I can't stop thinking about it. It's tops Chrome Cosmic. I'm starting to get more excited every day about it. And I wasn't very excited about it last year. I think it's because so many releases were coming out that maybe it got lost in the shuffle last year and I was overwhelmed. And I just didn't want to deal with another release. But this year, we've had plenty of time for Topps Chrome to enjoy it. And it's going to continue to be a good rip. But like, I'm starting to feel the next release already, like wanting to, wanting to rip something new. But also... For mixers, adding another variety. Because we've had Top's Finest for a while. Been ripping Finest for a while. Been ripping, you know, we haven't gone back to Series 2. Because, I mean, I told you at the time, like, Series 2 will get lost in the mix after Finest comes out. Or after uh, Chrome comes out. And that's the case. Don't see a whole lot of reason to rip Flagship when you got Chrome with the same players, same good players in it. It's just a more premium card and on-card autos and Chrome finish and all that stuff. Series 2 is still a good product. And it'll be the kind of thing that 
uh, will will be cheap. It'll get either it'll get cheaper or it'll stay the same price and stay affordable as other things go up as the new things, newer things start to come out and get more expensive. Like Cosmic will be an expensive, uh, a, a very expensive box to open. It's probably too cheap right now, um, if, especially if you compare it to last year's. So last year's Cosmic was like. Uh, I believe it got up to six hundred something dollars a box. It's a little bit cheaper than that right now. Might go back up again. I don't know. But if you use last, like I, I think last year's update stuff that has Julio and Bobby in it is a good comp for this year's product. Now you can't always go back to the previous year and say, well, last year's heritage sold for $150 a box. So this year's is going to be up to 150. It's only a hundred right now. It's bound to go. Like you can't always compare it like that. And you shouldn't, you really need to compare the rookie class. And if there's a format change, you got to take that into consideration. Like with tops Chrome this year, you know, with the format change, we had to account for that somehow. And like they did lower the price a little bit. And so it seemed like it was okay. 22 Cosmics around 500 now. Yeah, it's a little cheaper now than it was. I believe it. Yeah, I think it maxed out at like 630 or something like that. I don't have the exact numbers in front of me. That's just going off of a hazy memory. Yeah, but oh man, it's so the reason why I started another another one of the reasons why I kind of started to get excited about it is I, I was going through the, the ch uh, not the checklist, the odds. The odds are available on on tops, whatever that tops odds and I started looking at the parallels and they have cool names and they're like all different parallels and it just it just excited me the new the newness of it I get excited by the newness of almost everything O'Neal Cruz rookie so we got another one of these 24 count retail boxes the first one was pretty good. Got an auto out of it. Can't always guarantee that. This is a nice card. Nick Lodolo, rookie. Solid pitcher. I'm going to put him up on the stage, actually. I like it that much. I think Lodolo is one of those rookies that is uh, capable of being a star. We did get a relic. So each box has had a hit. Goldie. Game used too. Game used to boot. I don't say to boot enough. Cosmic print run is up 167% this year. 1.5 thousand cases last year. 4,000 cases this year. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Being a new product last year, they didn't, they probably didn't know like what, a lot of factors went into it, but the popularity are, is driving up the production. Makes sense. It's still a very small amount compared to Chrome, especially. Way less than Chrome because we're not, we haven't even seen all the Chrome that's going to come out. If they have Logo Fractor, if they have Sonic or some other, something like that. They already included a new format with Breaker's Delight, although that doesn't have base cards, so it doesn't technically, it's not the same thing. But Blasters, Monsters, Hobbies, Jumbos, Breaker Delight, and then whatever else, what other other format they may or may not come out with later. That's one thing. I wish they had a calendar, or like a release event calendar straight up from Tops. You, you can go on, you can go to Blowout or go to Beckett, and they can give you some ideas, but this year seems like they're not as on top of release dates, which maybe they just don't want to get people's hopes up for a, a certain date, because like with 22 anniversary, you know, that ran about, I don't even know how many, six months late. They're probably wishing they didn't even have that on the release calendar until a little bit closer. Seems like they're just kind of announcing the releases maybe like a month in advance instead of six months in advance or whatever they used to. Harold Ramirez numbered.
Shy City, what's up, my brother? Six month membership. Striker, hope all is well, brother. Let's go. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for swinging in. Everything's going great. Michael Pineda, the human pair. Lodolo rookie. Ooh. Ooh. That is another. That's a sneaky hit. Ninth all time. Father's Day Blue Pujols. Ninth all time in hits. Sneaky, sneaky. Going to Scott. Can the Braves score more than seven on Cobb tonight and win? Would you take that minus one and a half or something? Or I mean, seven's a lot. I would never bet on a team to score seven runs unless it was maybe on the road at Coors and they have a really bad pitcher and it's hot and the team is the Rockies are fatigued. I don't know. There's a lot of like you could you could take you could get seven at Coors but even that even those Mexico City games remember those how the the Vegas line was like the run line was like 14 or 15 and a half runs or something even then only one of the games ended up going over it went way over but the following game didn't even hit that number didn't even come close i don't think because i bet on the first one and then i bet on the second one the second one didn't hit the first one hit like crazy what's going on we got anything left in here Trevino, another gold. Plenty of parallels. <laughs> it's getting auto up there, eh? What's up, Bo? Braves average about six runs a game. Yeah, that's really high, especially from a historical perspective. Christian Pache to 99, sliding around. But he said more than seven runs, right? Was it more than seven runs or was it just seven runs? Because if it's more than seven runs, that means eight. So that's two runs more than their average. And there's Cobb's not that bad. He's like us. Double check. It's so it's a nine run total. And the Braves are minus 240. The implied run line for the Braves is 5.53. So Vegas is saying they're either going to score five or six runs. So to say that they're going to score seven. Uh, it was, uh, it's quite a stretch. It's a little bit of a stretch. They average six runs. You're saying they're going to... Is Alex Cobb like that much worse than any of the other starting pitchers that they normally face? No. He's about average. And he actually has flashes of like good, like being really good sometimes. At least he has. More than seven, yeah, so we need eight. That's tough, man. And plus, here's the thing, is they're at home. So they're not, they're probably not going to bat in the ninth. So they got to get all their work done in eight innings. So if you're saying that they are going to score more, seven or more than seven, eight runs, that means that in order to get a, a at-bat in the ninth inning, the Giants are going to have to score more than that. Like, they're going to have to have, you know, they're going to have to be winning. In the ninth inning, which I don't see happening against Spencer Strider. I don't know about you. Could happen. I mean, it's baseball. 
Anything can happen. Strider could get hurt in the first inning. I hope that doesn't happen. Or he could have a bad game or just whatever, right? Fluky, fluky, fluke stuff could happen. But are you betting against Strider? <laughs> I'm not. Especially like the Giants strike out quite a bit. Like a lot. I could probably tell you how much their current team roster strikes out. And I could find that information very fast for you. I'm curious. All right, so the current, their current one through nine that's batting tonight strikes out at a 27% rate, the Giants. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the eighth highest on the on the entire slate, and everybody's playing. So they strike out a lot, and strike and Strider strikes out the most people. So there's gonna be a lot of strikeouts, which means that they're gonna have to hit home runs to win, probably. Because like when you got a guy who strikes a lot of people out, really hard to just put together, you know, a couple of singles and a and a double to you know you. If you're trying to manufacture runs against a strikeout pitcher. It's it can be tough. You like guy like Max Scherzer, for example. Like he'll give up home runs, solo shots, stuff like that. But it's hard to manufacture runs against him. Brian dropping ten gifted members memberships. Thank you very much. If you you see your name highlighted in green, it's because Brian donated some gifted memberships. All you gotta do is be hanging out in the chat, and it just randomly goes to. Whoever. That's why I suggest if you're going to leave the room or do something else, just leave the stream running so that you can get those gifted. We got some anniversary. One hobby box at anniversary, which means uh, 75 parallels are coming out of here. Maybe 80 and an auto. I don't know. They might as well have hot boxes. Why don't they just do that? Have hot boxes where like every card's a parallel. They're halfway there anyway. More hot boxes. Hey, Tops. It's your pal Striker. Um, more hot boxes, please. All different releases, formats, more hot boxes. Thank you. We like that. We like it a lot. Nothing better than getting a hot box. Carlos Santana to 100. If you agree that you would like to see more hot boxes, why don't you put hot in the chat with some fire emojis? Maybe Tops will see it and take note. Oh, that's, that's our auto. That's a good auto. Bryson Stott to 199. Rookie autograph. Going to the Phillies. Nolan, congratulations. What's up, Large Marge? Dezen, a striker, big fan, love the content on grading 23 Chrome. Focus on all rookies with autos, colored, numbered, or be more limited to the big names. I would, there's probably, there's probably about 15, 15 guys you could send away as far as like their autos go. The lower numbered, the better, Joe Morgan. The, more, the lower the number, the more wiggle room you have if you send your card off and it gets a nine, for example, um, so that you didn't waste your money or break even going through all that effort, having the card be away for so long, having the time go by, Peralta to 299. 
That's the biggest thing about sending your cards away to get graded. The amount of time it takes by the time you get your cards back, that release has already come and gone. Now, not so much as of late because the time frames are a little bit better. Like if you can get it back, ideally it'd be great if you get it back in like, you know, like a week, but that's not going to happen with PSA. Edward Cabrera to 150. But if it takes 45 days, which is what mine just took, you know, the release has come and gone and the value goes down over time. X-Fractor. So that's just something you have to consider. Sometimes it's better just to put the stuff on the market right away. I wouldn't recommend auctioning it off or you'll get, you'll get destroyed probably. But at least getting it up there with the best offer. Appreciate the dono. A lot of fire in the chat. A lot of people want to see some more hot boxes. Yeah, me too. That's like the saving grace of heritage. Hot boxes. Purple refractor hot boxes. What if what if we even take that a step further for a release like Heritage? Hot box where you get the purple refractors, and then like a nuclear box where you get like four autographs and a special kind of refractor, not a purple, like a different one, you know, some kind of awesome design on there. Ideas for days. Tops Chrome Hobby Box. Chad's breaking 30 to 35 year old wax. Well, good luck on that. Hopefully it's not all bricked up on you. You've been sitting on it that long and you're now going to be ripping it open, eh? I want to, I don't know how much, it's got to be super expensive, but I want to open up some 90s basketball. Like, I, I heard it's all bricky and stuff, but it'd be so cool to find some metal or Fleer Ultra, some Upper Deck, some SP, some, you know, some of that kind of like, like 95, 1996, maybe 95, 96, right in that zone. 97, start getting into some even fancier stuff. I'd enjoy opening those basketball cards, but I bet you they're super expensive. Like $1,000 a box or more. Oh, yeah. They have Taco Fractors in Cosmic as well. Attempting to organize all the cards that weren't part of a set. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It's overwhelming. Yeah, I, 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 yes, it is. It's overwhelming. Just keeping up with the new stuff. If you don't keep up on like when you open, if you don't immediately try to take care of those cards and do something with them, it'll pile up on you so fast. You'll start your head will spin. I mean, it's yeah. Overwhelming is the way to put it. Ultra gold medallions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did pull one of those back in the day, the platinum medallions, regular gold medallions. I had two Kobe's sold them two Kobe rookies with the gold medallion on there. I pretty much dug all my Kobe stuff out and sold it. I'm not a Kobe guy. I'm a Jordan guy. Tops Platinum better than Tops Finest. No. I mean, better like how, right? We got to specify, like, what do we mean by better? Funner to open, cheaper, better bang for your buck? Yes. Better bang for your buck and a, a funner open because you get more packs for the money and you get more parallels for the money. But it's ter in terms of there's, so it's a, also who's the audience. If it's me, I don't 
care so much about like all the old timers being in the checklist. For me, I like the new rookies and stuff. Like that's what I like. Prospecting and who's the hottest player right now. That's my specialty. So it just depends on the audience. Like I prefer opening something like this. Whereas if you like a lot of the old older players and you like a more complete check, there's just too many cards to like if you're a rookie chaser, like like I am, there's just too many cards to chase your rookie. Because you're going to get a lot of parallels of guys who you're like, uh, it's just like an active player who's been playing for six years or, you know, something like that. Like, oh, sweet, another Robbie Ray parallel. 500 card checklist, you know, whereas this is a 220 card checklist trimmed way down, way better chance of getting a rookie. Uh, rookie parallel, rookie autograph. And finest is even smaller checklist than this. There are pros and cons to both. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to say like for sure like one is better than the other. There's so many factors. Kyle Tucker to 125. Basically whatever product has Corbin Carroll in it this year is the is the thing you're going to want to rip. If it doesn't have Corbin Carroll in it, it's not going to be as good. Ken Waldachuk, base autograph, going to the A's. And yeah, there are plenty of other players. I know what you're saying. Uh, Gunner and Adley and Riley. But what about Josh Young? Like, there's a lot of them. But the big boy, the ceiling player, is Corbin Carroll. He's the guy who's got the best shot at being like a legendary type of player who produces war at an extremely high level, in my opinion. Now, Adley is on track to being a Hall of Fame type of player. This isn't bad. Logan O'Hoppy. And, uh, at, you know, Gunner is looking awesome too. But I just don't have enough of a, enough of a look at Gunner at this point. Now, these things change. He can go on a nasty stretch and become the hottest player in the league and you know starts generating crazy war and things can change there's a $40 credit card potentially speaking of finest here we go I just like the odd like for finest, like I said, how the checklist is so small and there's a lot of good rookies in here. Almost every box has a good rookie parallel in it. So even though you may get more parallels in a anniversary box, the checklist is two and a half times bigger. So there's way more scrubs. Not scrubs, but you know, non-rookie parallels. You're liking Tovar? Yeah, I like Tovar too. He's a sneaky guy, but people just just don't respect Rockies players as much for collectability and even Hall of Fame consideration. But if you like them, that's what that's all that matters. Yeah, that Jay's got a good point. The price is a little too high right now to grade for base cards. I'm not sending a ton of base cards away at this point, but. If everybody thinks that way, then less are going to be sent away and then there's going to be less of a supply and an equal amount of demand, let's say. So then the base cards stay higher. The pop stays lower. Eventually, they'll have a sale and more people will send them away. Like if we have a $15 sale, people start sending a lot more base cards away. But at the $19 point, I know it's only a couple bucks, but it really matters, especially when you're talking about a 9 versus a 10. And when you're just talking about base cards. Uh, yeah, let's just rip both boxes at once. All your Wander cards for $14. Yeah, I just unlisted all mine. Until this investigation is over with. But the last report I heard, people are saying he's never going to play Major League Baseball again. 
Thoughts on 2018 Bowman from Brendan. Thanks for the $2 donation. Um, well, if it's got Otani rookies in it, then it's good. Even base Otani paper rookies from that product, the population's really low, and it's a valuable card. Think about a base paper Bowman rookie and how dime a dozen those things are. And and the the Otani is worth a lot. Look it up. PSA 10 Otani 2018 Bowman. Christopher Morrell Refract. This is what I'm talking about. Let's see how many good rookies we get out of here. Parallels. There's one. Nolan Gorman. That's the golden black. Pretty tough pull right there. So that's a cool hit. We got one good rookie parallel so far. Jermaine Palacios. Green to 99. Going to Dan. AJ says, hey, I'm new to collecting. What does he mean when he calls a certain card a buyback or a credit card? So Tops is running this program where only Tops Chrome, okay? Just Tops Chrome base cards. If you get the MVP who has yet who is yet to be announced, but we're assuming it's going to be Acuna and Otani, if you can take that card and send it back to one of many different places, either your local card store or there's like a whole bunch of online retailers, Blowout, Dave and Adam, Steel City. You can send that card back to them and just the base card, they'll give you $20 in store credit. If it's a refractor or an unnumbered parallel, it's $40 in credit. If it's a numbered parallel, it goes up from there, 60, 80, 100, something like that. So that's what we're talking about. When I say a credit card, that's what I mean. That's also, I just call it that because I have nicknames for everything, but it's called a buyback card. Purple, Garrett Cole. The vibe's up a little bit. Alvarez, rookie. Rookies, the rookies. Corbin Carroll and Blue DeGrom. See, we're getting we're getting the parallels, but they're not rookies. We got one, one decent one. There we go. There's two. Story Ruiz Refractor. Graham Ashcraft rookie. Auto, not bad. So, I mean, if you count, you know, the Jermaine Palacios as a parallel, and this is not a parallel, but it is an auto. At least you kind of see what I'm talking about. Anybody doing anything fun this weekend? We've got the local festival. It's called Lapeer Days. is in town. Allegedly, they have a Vegas tent, although I haven't been able to confirm that. Only through speculation and rumors. But the Vegas tent is pretty fun. But they have a huge beer tent. And live music. Every year they have like some kind of a nationwide music act that everybody recognizes. Usually it's like an older one from the 90s or something that comes back. Little little fair with rides and carnival parade. So I'm going to be doing that tomorrow, most likely. Greenskeeper says, good evening, party people. Should you keep a few, though, of the credit cards? I wouldn't. I'll send all those suckers away. Get a free box of Chrome or something. Sounds good to me. What top loaders do you use? Good question. I use card shells. They're the best top loaders in the world. 
according to me and many others. These are seamless top loaders, so these guys are changing the game in every single way. Like a normal a normal top loader, like look at this. Normal top loader has a seam where they just like fuse it together. Card shells, these premium top loaders, they're seamless. They got a UV coating on them. Good quality. And if you use code STRIKER10, nope, there's a new one. Strike Force. S-T-R-Y-K-E-F-O-R-C-E. -E. You get 10% off your order. No minimum. And they have the pre-cut corner sleeves as well that are a complete game changer. Tovar Refractor. These... The, sleeve, the sleeves already have slit corners, so you don't got to worry about dinging up your corners when you slide them in. If I had to go back to snipping and flicking and cutting all my corners, I don't even want to think about it. Striker, better than Apple TV's terrible MLB broadcast from Kootenai Cards. I, yeah, and that's a fact. I could hop on right now and do better commentary, better play-by-play, -play, better color analysis than what they do. And everybody here knows it. No prep, no, no teleprompter, nobody in my ear telling me what to say. Just boom, let's flow, baby. Let's watch the game and talk. Guaranteed. You like the soft sleeve flick? Yeah, all right. It was kind of, it was okay. But when you got to do it a million times in a row, when you're doing like what I'm doing, sleeving up all these cards, then it's not so fun. And your fingers actually start to hurt. Like you got to put pressure on that knuckle right there and it starts to hurt after a while. But I know what you mean. That little, that little, that little pop when the corner pops. Yeah. David Villar. It's almost like, uh, never mind. You weren't able to get the new code to work. Really? I haven't tried it yet, but I got the okay from the owner that the code is up and running. Uh, hopefully it's not like some capitals or something in there. And it's one word, one word strike force. I need to change Streambot. Here, let me type it in the chat. Just like that. Try that. And if that doesn't work, try like capitalizing the S or something. I don't know. Yoshi with a three-run bomb. Oh, no wonder people are trying to buy my Yoshi cards. And I already sold a couple of them today. Unique New York. Gold wave incoming. Come on, baby. Be a big monster hit. Gah! That is not too bad. Alvarez rookie gold wave. That's got some value. Card like that, I would send away. Golds, very collectible. Gold rookies, especially gold chrome rookies. And, like, let's say he's, you know, not having the greatest rookie season or something. He's super young, super talented on a big market team. And has been a top prospect for a long time. Those are the kind of things you have to think about. Wondering if they'll do a buyback on Wander cards to get them out of circulation. No, they're going to not talk about that situation. They're going to let that thing die and not report on it as, until they absolutely have to. And, like, as far as a PR situation goes, if you're Major League Baseball, you don't talk about it at all. You let it just – you let people a year later say, whatever happened to that situation? Eh, I don't know. Let's move on, right? That's a bad hit. Gunner. Prism. The Prisms? little more collectible than even a refractor in my opinion i like them better prisms so it goes like base card then sepia 
pink refractor prism x fractor the negative as far as the unnumbered ones wit somehow has 24 harm runs yeah and a ton of stolen bases too hey brandon 40 month membership says hey striker thank you for all you do pull fire thank you brandon for your continued support i appreciate it greatly 40 month member whoa that's a lot of months you got to be like, are you the longest current member? You got to be close. There's a couple. There's a couple close to you, but you might be the reigning champion. Brandon's been hanging out for years. OG. Long time slammer. Spencer Steer. Aqua. Aqua wave to 199. That's not bad. I like steer. Jeff says that Alvarez Gold may have just paid for the hobby box and a few blasters. Any good wander memes yet? I think it's too soon. But there have been a ton of hilarious jokes. Ooh, I know what that is. Do you see that? That can mean only one thing. Can anyone guess? It's a special parallel reserved only for special cards. Can't get a normal one like that. Ooh. Big potential there. Gold speckle. It's upside down. Gold speckle. It's going to be an image variation of Adley. Oh, 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 number to 50 matches the gold cup. What a hit. Oh, 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 Jacob. Holy moly. That's a banger. That's a big one. Oh, wow. And uh, centering is good enough, in my opinion. Hopefully you got a gem here, man. That is a huge card. Woo! I just sold mine today. I sold the base one raw for 225 bucks. So this one numbered to 50, gemmed up. Four figures, some, somewhere in the four figures. Congratulations. Yes. Window. Window. Let's go. <laughs> Friday Night Fire. Yes. Got this pack. The Volpe Corbin pack. <coughs> Volpe Corbin Acuna freebie pack. Oh my, this box. We got another big one coming up. This box. Two gold so far, and a better than a gold hit coming up. You ready? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, it's Oscar Colas. Oh my, that's a radiating rookie. Whoo! Another big boy. Ceiling box. We got a ceiling box on our hands here. How many more autos we got coming out of here? One? One more auto out of this box? That one's going to Michael. We got a parallel rookie hitter auto, decent one, Spencer Steer. Two golds, a radiating rookies. Yeah, this is an image variation, Adley. Rookie image variation. Very collectible, especially in that gold speckle. Whoa. Let's keep it going. Let's keep these vibes high. Keep the fire flowing. 
Give me a thumbs up if you like my thumbnail. Not that. You know what I'm talking about. Drew Waters to 99. Not too bad. This is a nice rookie. LeMahieu, Manoa. How much does a chrome jumbo cost? Last I checked, it was about 400. Yeah, this one you're going to want to send off. You're going to want to get that graded. Don't sell that raw. She may not gem because it's a little OC, but even in a nine, you're going to get more than a base. Easily cover your grading fees. Carlos Perez. But the front is close enough to gem up. But the problem is the, they'll add in the back, and the back is a little too thick right there, but and maybe a little too thick up top. But that's a nine if I've ever seen one. Thumbnail took me all month. Took me all day. Half a day. Jordan Walker. Adley and Gunner Refractor. What a box. Goodness. This was a ceiling box. Although, I guess, you know, there's, there's still upward momentum to be had with like a banging auto. We didn't get a banging auto out of there. The steer is really nice. All right, and that is that. We're gonna move on to the high roller. We got a high roller break coming right up. Let me show you all the hits. And everything's all ready to go for the next one. There's like no downtime in between breaks, which is, I think, I think that's good. I think it's good. I think you'll like it. I like it. You like it. Everybody likes it. Striker 10 worked last night. I think that one still may, might be active as well. But the Strike Force one is supposed to be active. If it's not working, let me know. You can email me and then I'll forward, I'll forward it to the right people. Carlos Perez autograph. We got this Gunner Refractor. Drew Waters to 99. Mike Trout Refractor. Tovar Refractor. Garrett Cole to 250. Jacob DeGrom. True Blue with a little color match. Story Ruiz Refractor, Morrell Refractor, Nolan Gorman, Black and Gold, Rookies. Kyle Tucker, Sonar to 125, Waldachuk Base, Grissom Prism, uh, Trevino Bassett to 250, Santana to 100, Joe Morgan to 150, Peralta Aqualava to 299, Speckle. Cabrera to 150, Bordeaux to 100, Ramirez to 199. And then we got this Pujols, Father's Day Blue to 50. Lodolo, rookie debut, gold to 2022. Bryson Stott, rookie auto. Palacios, green auto to 99. Graham Ashcraft, base finest auto. Gunner Prism, Colas radiating rookies. Goldschmidt, game used, Major League Materials, Villar base. The Hot B, Adley to 50. Image variation, gold speckle. Alvarez, gold wave rookie. Steer to 199, blue aqua, aqua wave auto. Oh, hoppy negative and Pache to Hold on one minute, guys. Let me pump this music up. I forgot to do something. <laughs>
Okay. We back. I'm just doing some stuff behind the scenes here before we start the next break. We got 20 minutes before the next one's supposed to start anyway, but we got two down working on the high roller. I forgot to print off the shipping labels. I knew things were going too smoothly. A little bit too smooth. So we can hang out until then. Go ahead, fill up the chat. I'll glance over from time to time. Actually, I can say this, this is like a time consuming process. It's gonna take a few minutes. Steer having a killer year. Oh, thanks Davis. You're the smart boy who's got it all figured out. Why don't you tell us your philosophy? What if we enjoy it? What if we really enjoy digging into minor league stats, prospects coming up for our team? You know, let's say you like the Detroit Tigers and you draft someone really high, like 1 1 overall, and you like following their major league career and you want to try to pull their very first baseball card out of a box, maybe even their autograph, get really lucky. Maybe you want to be the first person out of all your friends who knows about certain prospects and what their stats are to actually pull their card out of a box, show it off. What about that? But he's not probably even talking about that. He's probably talking about rookies and calling them prospects. Steven with the $1.99 says, hey, Striker, I got that Adley in break two, right? I mean, you really want me to go back through all the details and figure out who got what? Hold on. possible that I was calling the wrong name out in that entire break yeah I was probably calling the wrong names out for break number one my bad we're a little scrambled tonight but it's okay I've got most things figured out womp womp Break number two, Steven, yes, you did get that Adley. I, pro I, I probably called every wrong name out for the last break because I was on the wrong screen.
Okay. We're almost good. Almost good. One last thing. Should we start selling Whit Jr. mullet hats and Strider stashes? There may be some kind of a copyright situation with that or a likeness, some kind of a likeness deal that I can't say yes, but you could always call them something else. Maybe you'd have to come up with your own name. Like. I'm not going to come up with the name for you. That's on you. Okay, there we got that much done. All right. Four. Yeah, should be four. All right, we got the high roller. Friday. Oop, that's wrong. Okay, Friday night fire high roller. Pulled it up, ready to go. Okay, we're on the high roller. Break number three. Starting off with a hobby box, Topps Chrome Hobby Box. Hit that like button. If we can get to 500 likes, that'll be the goal. We'll set a goal, 500 likes. I think we can do it. Easy. Casting Weights says, I'm also new to card lingo. What's a break? Well, a break is when you get, for example, there's 30 teams in Major League Baseball. If you can get 30 people together that want to open up a whole bunch of boxes, and then each person gets a team, and then you open up all the boxes, and you sort the cards by team, and whatever team you get, you get all the cards that came out of the boxes. Yeah, I don't know why the music just got real loud. I thought I just turned it down. Okay. It's the ghost in the machine. Should you grade all your numbered cards? No. You should only grade, first of all, any card that you think about grading. It has to be in flawless condition or else you're wasting your money. So if there's scratches, corner dings, edge wear and tear, off center, those are the big things that you got to look for. The first thing is the eye appeal of the centering. That's what I always look at. Is it centered? It's a big dock if it's not. And then you got to get the proper light and look at it under like multiple... You should have a ton of light and look at it, multiple angles trying to find scratches or anything that you might have missed. Sometimes it's hard to, to see all the scratches until you look at it real close under every angle, front and back. Corner's number one, but I mean, it, with chrome, you, you never have corner issues. Extremely rare that you have a corner issue on a chrome card. So you only got to look at corners, really. Edges still like it's edges are usually spot on corners are spot on. You're just looking, you're just looking for that centering and then you're looking for scratches at an angle, right? Look at it all the different angles, flip that thing upside down to get a new perspective on your centering.
Yeah, randoms randoms are done before the breaks now. I posted on Patreon a couple hours before the break so you can see what team you got and do a little research if you need to, see what, what guys are good for that team. The breaks flow a lot better. There's no downtime unless you forget to do what you're supposed to. <laughs> unless I forget to do what I'm supposed to. Corbin Carroll, rookie, the very first card. We're at the high roller, break number three. Following this break, we're doing a mega high roller, so the stakes are growing with each break. Been doing a few more value mixers lately just to change it up, allow, allow people to get in for a, a lower price. But we're gonna go back up to the high rollers for a little while. I'll keep them mixed up, so maybe maybe one value mixer per per session. That seems about right. People like the the high rollers way better. All right, what's going on here? There we go. Vinny Pasquantino, rookie cup card, purple. Going to Kelvin. We got a credit card here. Jordan Walker, rookie. Back-to-back -back Vlads, Outman, and Travis Swaggerty. Rookie autograph. Gunner and Green Wave, Toglia. To 99, rookie, going to the Rockies. Riley, it's a pretty small checklist. Only 20 cards in that that checklist, the 88. Riley's one of the best players in the checklist, best rookies, one of the best, if not the best. Gunner, Rosario, and that's a pretty dry box. Let's run it back with a jumbo. Do you get in on all the breaks? I don't get in on the breaks. I don't think that's cool for a breaker to get in on his own breaks. I mean, sometimes it happens, like if you can't sell out your break or whatever, but I don't know. I just, I wouldn't feel right about being in on my own break and then getting a big hit. I'd be, I'd like feel bad about it. Corbin Carroll and Volpe. And there's that pack that we all love and enjoy with the credit card. It's a freebie pack. This is a freebie pack right here. You get your way back easily. Volpe, Carroll, well, if not just those two, but there's your credit card. Yeah, sometimes what looks like scratches are not scratches. You take a little soft cloth. Might just be a smudge. Like these have the, these smudges on the top sometimes, and it looks like damage, but it's like grease, and you can wipe it off with a soft cloth. Tovar Prism. Would you be okay? I mean, I'm not like not okay with it or okay with it. I just, for me personally, the way I feel about doing my breaks is I want my people to get good stuff. I don't want to get good stuff for me and my own break. I want like everybody else to get good stuff. So if I got something good, I just would be like, I wouldn't be happy about it. Like I wouldn't be like, yes, ha ha. Like I'd just be like, oh. So. But everybody does what they want to do. Like you can, if you run your own breaks, do what you're gonna do. I'm not gonna like diss you for it. Probably not too bad, at least. Because I've been there. 
early on in my breaking days, I was, you know, if you can't sell out a break or something, it's like, well, maybe I'll just buy a couple spots just so it'll sell out. Like if it's that kind of situation, well, that's a little, a little bit different. Or as long as everybody's cool with it. And they're just like, yeah, I get a couple spots. Maybe they want you to. I mean, and everybody would be cool with it if I bought into my own and got some cool cards. Everybody's cool, but I just wouldn't be cool with it. <laughs> Jordan Diaz, auto. And a Nando refractor. Drop your link. There's the buy-in list. Green Wave. Conforto. To 99. Beau Bichette, Titans. Three blasters, bad luck. Yeah, the blasters are kind of rough. Um, they're not too bad, but... James says, kind of like a floor man playing at his own casino. You just don't do it. That's interesting you bring that up. Because at the Hustler Casino, they have the Hustler Casino live stream. And the guy who runs the the thing bu like buys into cash games sometimes and goes on the live stream. And I don't like that. I just I feel weird about it. I'm sure the other players might feel like the guy who's in charge of all the cameras and the RFID chips and uh, there's a whole production that goes into it. And, you know, certain people can see the cards and like, I don't know. I just would be like, what are you doing? Why don't you buy into some like you got to you got to buy into your own game? Why don't you just go buy into any other game? in Vegas. There's hundreds of them. I understand why he'd want to. He's like friends with all those people and they all know him. They all trust him. I'm sure it's fine. But especially after that whole Robbie situation, the Robbie Lou situation, and then one of the, the guys on the production team actually was stealing chips from people. It's just, it's not a good look. James Outman. Refractor. But everybody's cool with it that plays because the guy's not that good of a player. Step in the box. What's up, Brett? Says Breaker keeps spot and pulls Mike Trout beam team super one of one. Yeah, what happens then? <laughs> oh, we got something juicy. Brett, you're just in time. You're just in time for Frozen Fractor number three. And it's Brandon Crawford. Negative two of zero. Okay. Pulled three frozen fractors. Jack, congratulations. No taco fractors yet. Discounted break price for a breaker as well. Yeah, like free. Discounted. It's free. Wouldn't that be nice? Jeff, welcome. Can you buy a spot anonymously? Um, no. Because you would have to put in PayPal information, credit card information. I don't, I don't uh, like do the randomizing live for the whole world anymore. I do it just for the Patreon, the patrons, the members of the uh, Patreon group, the Slammers. So it's behind closed doors Tyler Freeman to 350 why do you need to do it anonymously what are you scared of what are you hiding you got something to hide <laughs> just teasing Brewer Hicklin to 150. 
I understand people like some privacy. I get it. Young Taco Fractor. Just putting it out there. All right. Let's 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 do that then. We can still get plenty of tacos. Had Taco Bell today. Not feeling great about it. It was not the best taco, tacos uh, and burritos that I've ever had, but the service at least was a little bit quicker than normal. It's been taking like an average of 20 minutes in line at Taco Bell lately. And usually there is a scallywag taking care of me. Like when you pull up to that window, you're rolling the dice with your life. I don't know, like the, today, the person behind the counter or behind the window, had a mohawk, a red mohawk, that was taller than I could see. It was probably a foot and a half tall, red mohawk. I was like, damn, I mean, I respected it. But that's what we're dealing with. I respected it. In fact, I, I may have sported a mohawk or two in my day. I definitely had a mohawk when I went to the Tool concert. Tops Chrome Platinum. You know what? I think I'm going to put this this blue brewer hicklin up there and maybe the swaggerty. I think they both are decent, maybe. I didn't dye my mohawk red, though. And it was more of a faux hawk than a mohawk. Dripping in heat. Yeah, yeah. Moe's Southwest Grill Tiger. Welcome to Moe's. Tool show is awesome. Yeah, I've been to a few of them. And yeah, very awesome. Probably my favorite band. Chili Peppers. Tool. Radiohead. Sublime. Pink Floyd. System of a Down. Some of my favorites. Yeah, I mean, we could throw a perfect circle in there if we want to go to the Maynard drought. Uh, under Oath, like Under Oath. Coheed and Cambria. Silver Sun pickups. Your go-to is Pearl Jam. Yeah, I like Pearl Jam. I've never seen them in concert though, but I've got some friends who are obsessed with Pearl Jam. They go to all the shows. I can do some mean Pearl Jam karaoke. Like, if you close your eyes, you're like, is that better? Okay, 24 packs later. Here we go. Let's get a big rookie autograph. It's Willie Randolph. Old man Sig.
going to the Yankees. This time I got it right. Sky. They're amazing live. You've seen them at Wrigley. Yeah. Can't remember where I was. Man, they were playing at Wrigley. I was listening to the radio one time. They were making a huge thing about, about it. Ronnie Dawson to 100. Chris Bassett to 99. <laughs> Manual Class A to 100. The Mosh Pit of Tool concert's no joke. Yeah. Uh, the mosh pit at a Rage concert is uh, death-defying. I almost died. Almost got my back broken. I was crowd surfing. I don't know why. And they dropped me. Like they're put, you know how everybody kind of gets pushed to the front and then there's the, the bar with the security guards. I was at Woodstock and the... There was like a huge, long, you know, space in between the stage and where all the security guards were. And I was crowd surfing and they dropped me right on the bar, on my back, right on the bar. <laughs> Luckily, I was young and got over it. But I thought I was going to die. It was scary. 100,000 people pushing all at once. Can't breathe. You get trampled easily. Lots of people were getting hurt. John Gray to 199. Miguel Rojas to 99. And that's going to do it for that box. Uh, yeah, Limp Biscuit. I was at that show too. Woodstock '99. They they played there. It was very aggressive, very very aggressive. And they were like, "You probably there's video of it. You should. I mean, you're on YouTube. You should look up the Limp Biscuit concert, Woodstock '99. People were breaking. I think they knocked a tower over, like a communication tower that was set up in the middle of the thing. It was insane. It was one of the craziest things I've ever been around. But they were like ripping the walls off and like these huge pieces of plywood and the crowd would be holding it over it. Like, you know, you'd have like 15 people under it, holding it up and people would get up on top of the plywood and start like slam dance. Like it was crazy. And then the plywood would break and there's like shatter and shrapnel everywhere. And people are moshing like multiple mosh pits all over the place. Yeah, remember they sing they sang like break stuff and people went crazy. I'm surprised they didn't get sued. I think they might have gotten sued for that. Cause people were they were breaking stuff. Like everything they could. Gotta hang in the corner, be a cool kid at the concerts. No, 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 no. I like to get involved. I like to get to the front. That's my style. Get to the very front. Hold it down. Get real close. We got a 2023 Bowman Jumbo Box. Been a little while. Been a little while on the Bowmans. We hit it pretty hard when it came out. I needed a break. But we're back. Three autographs coming out of here. What's up, Fitzy? I sent your card away today, buddy. Should be expecting that in the mail several in several days. Rafaela Lunar Glow.
Pantera 92. Yeah, that was probably intense. Really intense. Colin Peluse. Atomic first autograph for the A's. Going to Jonathan. Congratulations. Corbin Carroll, rookie of the year favorites. It's a pretty sweet card. That was pretty expensive when this product came out. Cam first. Big name we're looking for. Volpe was number three on the top 100. Yeah, I think uh, Stained was there too. Like everybody was there in 99. Every Everybody was there. If you were in the rock scene, you were there. Bands. Lazaro Montez. Even Jewel was there. She was there yodeling. Didn't watch Jewel. I heard it, though, as we were walking. It was huge. We had to walk, like, miles just to get to our car. Camping out in a tent. 17 years old. Drove to Rome, New York without a ticket, on a whim, after work with my friend. It's like, hey, you want to go to Woodstock? Yes, let's go. Design with a $2 Shohei numbered cards. Buyback or PSA? It depends. If it's a card that looks like it could gem up, like if there's no scratches on it and it looks nice and centered, I would probably send that to PSA. Because um, you're going to get more than... You're going to get more for that than you're going to get in credit. Plus, when you sell it, that's cash money. And when you get credit, that's just credit towards something, right? You're not, you don't actually have money in your hand. You actually, so for the credit, you have to spend it on more cards. Well, if you sell that Otani and you're going to spend it on more cards anyway, that's something to consider, but probably better just to get cash in your hand. Did you enjoy paying $15 for a water bottle? No, the food and drink water was outrageous and people started to riot because of that. I got to experience it firsthand and like feel feel what it was all about when you know it's the middle of summer and you can't even afford to get a bottle of water. We actually went up to there was like a Walgreens or a, a Rite Aid or something that was sort of nearby, and we left to go get water, water and snacks and stuff. Marte to 125. Water and other beverages. It's amazing what people will buy a 17-year-old standing outside of a Rite Aid. Man, the Reds are so loaded. With talent, young talent. Yeah, James Brown, I told the story before, but James Brown was, he was the first show. He kicked off the show. And there were so many people there. I've never, you look back and it's a ocean of people and everybody was pushing. And we were pretty close, like I said, and we like to get really close and we're young and wanting to get involved. Couldn't breathe. I still remember how hard it was to breathe with everybody pushing and just trying, like, you would have to just, like, struggle for every breath because you're getting pushed from the back and front. So, 
scary. It was it was scary. We had to leave. We had to leave the James Brown show because we were struggling so bad. And we were like, you know, like I said, peak physical condition. My buddy, my buddy's like practically a bodybuilder, like just, you know, super fit. And I was, at the time I was in wrestling and tennis, so I was in really good shape too, really good shape. Just could not even hang. What's up, heads? It's a weird pack. Purple Cassis. That's a nice hit. And a redemption. Mm. Spencer Jones Refractor Auto. Speckle Refractor Auto. That's a big hit. I'm, I'm going to sleeve it up even. Sky, you're getting something tonight. Getting some good and you got a Willie Randolph auto already and a Spencer Jones prospect. So you got a prospect and we just need to get you. Who else could we get? <laughs> Trying to think. What else can we get for you out of here? What kind of good Yankees come out of here? Maybe a Volpe. Time for a good rookie autograph. I'm putting him up there. Yeah, it's a big card. Plus, hopefully it comes and it's in great condition because it's uh, redemption. You got it. You got to hope those are going to be gems. I can't wait to see what my, I mean, I, I can wait. I'm nervous to see what my Bobby gets, the gold Bobby redemption that I got in. Because the card was like perfect as far as no scratches on it, but it was just a little OC. So how are they going to grade that, you know? 60-40, it was probably still 60-40 or right, right there. But having no other flaws on it. Like, is it going to gem up? I sure hope so. PSA 10, Bobby Witt Jr. Gold Rookie Autograph. Tops Chrome Update. I need a 10. I might PC that card. I'm, I've been feeling Bobby. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Feeling the collecting itch. You know, the itch that you get when you go on eBay late at night and you're just like, oh, I got to have this card. Julian put it up there. That's number to 499. Relevant player. We're trying to get to 500 likes. We've only got 300, which means we are all failing as a group. Can we tighten it up a bit? Let's tighten it up. If you haven't hit the like button yet, do me a solid. Also, subscribe if you haven't. 43,000 subscribers. Well on our way to 50. And then 100,000. Do you get the itch a lot? No. No. But when I do, I scratch it. My biggest problem is getting rid of the cards that I have, like actually finding the time to list them, not buying new ones. I have plenty of cards. Just taking the time, finding the time, which is why I'm trying to Trying to get the wife to do more of that. And she is. She's doing a lot of it. She's making chrome sets for me right now. Bobby's a big collector himself. We got to get him in here. We got to get him in on the striker break. Bobby. Bobby, if you're watching, which you're not right now, you may watch the replay on the bus or the plane later or in the hotel room. It's the place you want to be, right here, with all your friends. It's a shout out to Bobby Witt Jr. Why don't you get in on a break? I'll play you something nice. 
Can you beat Mr. Beast at what? The answer is yes. It doesn't matter at what. If it's like raising money for charity, okay, he'll beat me at that. But any game, any show of physical strength or accuracy or uh, trivia or music. Yes. Video game, all of them. Actually, probably not. He started out gaming. He's probably pretty good at gaming. But I could at least, you know, you give me a, a little bit of practice on any game and I could, I could probably pull it off. I'm a pretty good gamer. Moreno. I bet I was thinking about today. Jacob DeGrom starting another channel called Striker Games. <sighs> it's not enough time. Like, how am I going to have time to play video games online? Oh, that is nice. 74 of 99 rookies, Adley. Like, what kind of parallel is that? Just a refractor? 74 of 99. I haven't seen that yet. Moreno. Nice box so far. We got three parallels. Still looking for an auto out of here. Yeah, see if Bobby got into a break and pulled a good Bobby. I don't know if that'd be a good look. Red. We got a red. That's going to be a red auto. Speaking of good looks, this is already looking good. Five of five. <gasps> David Wright. Legend. Peds is in here. I bet he would like this. Melissa. Congratulations. That is a beauty. Five of five, David Wright. There was a mosquito floating around in here and it bit me on the neck. Shohei. What's your favorite Red Hot Chili Peppers album? I love... I, there's like every one of them, but... Stadium Arcadium is probably the best, like... Being a double album, too. I, I do... I, like every one I could go off, but... I really like One Hot Minute, even though it's not John. But I love One Hot Minute. Well, I love Californication. I just, I like all of them. But Stadium Arcadium is just such a complete masterpiece. That probably that. Julio to 199. And if you're not counting like the old stuff like some of their old old stuff like even mother's milk and going back the freaky styly going like i'm not a big fan of those as much but by the way like if you don't count those then by the way is probably like my least favorite everything else i like a lot but by the way it was good in its own right just a little bit different Simeon Woods Richardson autograph. That's a nice, by the way, we didn't, by the way, we didn't really comment on the color match. Another Julio color match. Got to comment on that at least. Still feel like the mosquitoes floating around. Sweet. Riley to 250. Been a good box. For sure, for sure. Yeah, road tripping's awesome. 
Road tripping with my two favorite allies. Fully loaded, we got snacks and supplies. Like that, Riley. All right, we got two boxes left in this break. We're moving at a really good pace, so break number four is going to start a little bit earlier. Probably about 15 minutes early. Slammers, just make sure these are all approximate times. I just say six, seven, eight, and nine, about an hour per break, even though without doing the randomization, they've been going faster, saving about 10 minutes on there on average. Maybe a little less. Pickled your beans yet? Yeah. Yeah, my wife's on, on top of that situation, thank God, because I don't have enough time to do it. But the beans are good, and the pickles are good. The cucumber crop was not as, I don't know. The, like, the harvest wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. But I kind of knew because we planted too many seeds in a small area, and I was going to thin them out. But it's so hard to thin things out you know in your garden when they're like thriving you don't want to pull like an awesome thriving plant out but if you don't do that then you're you're not going to get as many um your crops aren't going to be as big and they're going to be fighting for nutrients so next year we'll have fewer cucumber plants all you need is two Two plants, you can get plenty of cucumbers off of two plants. I built a whole trellis for them, too, so they're growing up this trellis. They have plenty of room. But I think they got hit by some kind of some slight disease. Steel walker auto. It's always something when you're trying to grow crops. Bugs. Animals. Disease. Drought. Something. Purple Bobby. Beautiful purple Bobby to 250. Cup card, rookie cup. Going to Kelvin. We're getting some good color. And let's not forget about the frozen fractor in the back. You may have forgotten, but I'm not going to let you. There he is, Brandon Crawford. Your tomatoes turned out awful. We only had two tomato plants, but they were in separate containers. So they, they're actually producing a lot. I don't like tomatoes though, so. Little stack, stack of jumbos. Then we got a Breaker's Delight. And then that's it for this break. Then on to the Mega. Love the thumbnail. Thank you, Melissa. I worked hard on it. I'm glad you like it. True gold. Is it going to be an autograph? Zekiel Tovar, 25 of 50. True gold auto. And Nolan Jones, back-to-back -back Rockies. Hilton, congratulations. That is a nice hit. Very nice. Yeah, we got a lot of cherry tomatoes. Orange ones. Buggy Boy wonders who I collect. Well, Acuna. 
Got a nice Acuna PC. Got a really nice Tatis collection. Got pretty good Vladdy. I like rookies. I collect rookies. And Hall of Fame relics. Got some nice Soto rookies. Cunha rookies. Tatis. Vlad. Got some pretty nice uh, Bobby and Julio rookie stuff. Albies to 150. So those are some. Starting to pad my Otani collection, although his stuff's out outside of my price range, so I got to kind of just collect base out of the things that I've pulled over the years. Another Jordan Diaz. I was really happy that that 83 Otani gemmed up with the low pop. Even even raw, even raw ones are. Oh yeah, I got a good bow collection. That's right, Steel City. Thank you. I forget, I forget a lot of things. Yeah, my bow collection's nice. A couple of Jordans, a couple of Devers. I mean, I'm just telling you about the stuff I get graded, gemmed up. Those are all PSA tens. But I've got a whole bunch of raw cards. Thousands and thousands and thousands. I've got a pretty nice Riley Green first PSA 10 collection. I think I've got maybe... I've got like the little mini rainbow going. I'll have to show that off sometime. I just showed my Strider collection. <laughs> it's all raw except for one card. Got some nice Ricky Henderson cards. Got some nice Ken Griffey Jr. stuff. Breakers Delight, the last box. Allegedly, I have some K cards. I wonder if any Super Fractors come out of here. Have you guys seen any Supers come out of these Breakers Delight boxes? Who has a better career, Bobby or Bo? Ooh, that's a good question. Two similar type of guys, I think. That's a great question. I don't have an answer. Let's look at these refractors. Soto, Freeman, and a green Alec Thomas Youthquake. Is that a red? Ooh, I think we got a red auto out of here. We might have got a red auto out of here. Negative, Raphael Devers. Bo Naylor to 199 and, oh, true red something. Come on, baby, get it, get it. Oh, Jared Schuster, three of five. Oh my. I mean, that's the closest thing to a super fractor pretty much that we're gonna get. The closest thing we could imagine. I guess we could have got a taco or a, I don't know, frozen. And Nick Prado. Wow. Tovar Youthquake. Jared Schuster. Paul. That's one of the best Jared Schuster cards that exist. Right there. Sort of a color match, too. Sleeve a couple of these up. And I will reveal the hits. And then we will go on to the mega high roller. Man, 
we got some nice ones this break, didn't we? That's Spencer Jones, too. It's unfortunate that it's a, a redemption because we'd be staring at that, drooling. Two autos numbered to five. All right, here we go. Let's check them out. All right, so we got Ozzy to 150, blue. Ronnie Dawson to 100, Chris Bassett to 99. Class A to 100, Bob Feller to 299. John Gray, blue mini diamond to 199. Green Wave Rojas to 99. Jordan Diaz base, Tyler Freeman to 350, Conforto to 99, Pasquantino to 250, Toglia to 99, another Diaz, Steel Walker, the hype force is in full force tonight. Jacob DeGrom to 250, Moreno to 350, Alec Thomas to 99, the negative Devers, Naylor to 199, and Prado, base auto. And then we've got the top loaded cards for now. Julio to 199, Julian to 499, Casas to 199, Speckle Refractor Parallel Auto, Spencer Jones first auto. Elijah Green to 199, Marte to 125, Bowman Scouts top 100, Wesniski to 499, it's a refractor. Swaggerty Base, Hicklin True Blue auto to 150, Willie Randolph autograph. Pelusi, Atomic to 100. Woods Richardson base, Montes to 299. David Wright, 5 of 5, Red Auto. Bobby to 250. Purple, Rookie Cup card. Riley Green to 250. Frozen Fractor, Brandon Crawford, negative 2 of 0. Ezekiel Tovar, True Gold, 25 of 50. Look at this, Adley, 74 and 99. That's a tough pull. And another red auto, Jared Schuster, three of five. True red. All right, let's get the mega. Let's get the mega going. All right, here we go. Friday Night Fire. Mega high roller. Break number four. And we're doing it right now. We're about 20 minutes early. But to be early is to be on time. We're going to start with a jumbo. An old lady thought you were Spencer Jones the other day, upstate. That's hilarious. I had another person 
I told you guys about that. Like when I first got my, I have a Bronco, Bronco Sport. It's a 2021. So when I got it, it was like, like new people hadn't seen it yet out on the road. And almost everywhere I went, I'm not kidding. Almost everywhere I went, someone would stop me and tell me how cool that, that truck is. It got to the point where it was a joke. Like I I would just, it was hilarious. Like everywhere I went and it was usually old men, like an old man, you know, 70, 70 ish year old man would just be like, back in my day, I had a Bronco. I still have that thing. It was always something like that. They're like, Oh, how's that thing driving? That was sweet. And it was, it was great, but it's been, it's settled down <laughs> since everybody has one now. Haven't heard anybody stop me in like at least a year. And then I went out to eat with my wife the other night, my wife and daughter. And some lady was walking by Jordan Walker refractor. And she stopped me and was like, is that your car? I'm like, yeah. She's like, those Broncos are so cool. I love those. And just, she went on and on and on. I'm like, here we go again. People like them. It's a sweet vehicle. Very practical and good bang for your buck. Three Jordan D. How many Jordan D? Is this at least three? You're not invited anymore, Jordan. The bouncers see you. They're going to call the cops. Julio just killed one. What's up, Tony? Everything is very well. Very well. How about this? Ho oh, ho! That's a nice one. And guess what? That's one of 125. That is a bad boy. How much will that get you? I don't know what the credit card situation is after you get when you start getting numbered cards but that's a good one that's that's the question too what about a cunha cards you send that one off to get graded or you take your credit it's up to you it's up to trent you got the 2021 full-size badlands yeah i got the sport one because i don't go off-roading not a whole lot of reason for me to to get like some big truck like that, you know? Although they look sweet. And I'm thinking about getting one for my next vehicle. It's about time. My wife's car is like shot. My wife's car was owned by my grandfather, who's been dead for years. He owned it. And then when he died, my grandma drove it for years. And then when she died, my mom drove it for years. And then my mom got a new vehicle finally. And now my wife's been driving it for years. And it's all rusted out. And I've been telling her she needs a new vehicle. And she's like, I'm driving it till it's dead. I'm like, fair enough. But it's to the point where it's like embarrassing. Not for, not for her. She doesn't care. But, you know, Michigan, salt, a lot of rust, stuff like that happens. So when it when it finally dies, which maybe I need to pour some sugar in the gas can, but uh, when it finally dies, I got to get something. Dude, Schuster, why are the same regulars coming around? <laughs> Another Schuster. Schuster purple to 250. Back-to-back -back Braves on the stage. But anyway, when it's time to get a new vehicle, I'm going to give her my Bronco, and I'm going to get something new. So I may get a full-size one because I like, I like it so much. Such a sweet vehicle. I want to get a full-size one, kind of. But it is overkill. Like, I don't really need something that goes off-road at all. I'm not going to be sand duning. I'm not going to be hauling a boat. 
not going to be hauling a trailer. But it does look cool. That's the dilemma. Practical versus cool. Can you get both? What about what about if I upgrade from cool off-road vehicle to something that's just like a little luxurious? I don't drive around that much. I've put like 12,000 miles on my on my Bronco and like I think it's been three years now I've had it. Logan Ohapi, negative. I drive to the post office and back every day, and then I take my daughter back and forth to school occasionally. And then occasionally, you know, just normal errands. Actually, this... These negatives fit perfectly in a regular top loader. You don't want a Durango then? Hmm. You have the Big Bend edition? I think that's the one I have. Or whatever. Whatever the like the base one is. Hey Mark, happy Friday. Hype Force Unite. Yeah, no joke. Diaz and Schuster. Come on. Man, you're getting a lot of credit cards. That's one thing. Tyler Freeman. Base going to Greg. How old is that car? It's really old. It's got to be 20, 20 something years old. Mookie Refractor. It's a it's a white grand marquee. And it's a tank and it's not good on the snow, really. So we need something that's good on like we gotta have like an all all wheel drive vehicle in Michigan. You don't have to, but if you know, it's dangerous driving around with a rear wheel drive, like a like a pickup truck or something that just is rear wheel. You gotta put it either Put a bunch of weight in there and it's still not great like it's better but it's not great or have a all-wheel drive vehicle or four-wheel drive or something you work on classic cars salted roads to be killing the undercarriage yeah yeah, a lot of people from this area, like if you know what you're doing, my uncle works on cars, body, body shop guy. And, he, you know, he would go out of state to auctions and just get like cars from down south because there's no rust. Bring them back up here. Flip them. Or just do like a little bit of body work and sell them. You see anyone beating Atlanta. They are the best right now. Feels like they're going to win. Feels like they're going to win it all. They won one without Acuna, and now they're going to win one with him, with him. But the one thing that has me hesitant is their pitching, their starting pitching. When you get into the playoffs the high scoring offenses tend to get shut down a little bit. So if you don't have like an elite one, two punch, like two aces, almost, you almost need two aces. You don't have to, and you can get around it, especially if you have a deep pen and, and your offense is that prolific, but usually you're going up against other teams in the playoffs that have at least one ace, maybe two, 
And if, as long as you can get through, all you really need to do is get through one of the aces to have a chance then because it's it's really hard to just be super, super loaded at pitching where you got multiple aces or super depth. You're worried about the pen. I don't – see, I don't really pay attention to the bullpen. That's the last thing that I pay attention to for a team is how good is their bullpen. There's so many other things to think about, especially because it's it relates to like collecting too. Like nobody collects bullpen pieces. So I don't even think about that stuff. Like I think more about prospects than I do bullpen. Alvarez Refractor. Quan to 399. Nice Grissom. Grissom Refractor. Kyle writes the X Factor. Simeon Woods Richardson. Base auto. Peraza refractor. Nice $40 credit card. Cha Ching. Purple Speckle, Tyler O'Neill. And that's it for that box. Not a lot of banging going on in that box. Let's change it up a little bit. Another jumbo. 2023 Bowman Jumbo Box. We got three autos coming out of here. You feel that the main reason the Padres have done so bad is because of the pen? Yeah, you got to have a complete team. If you have any weakness going into the playoffs, it'll be exploited. Arno says my eight-year-old son just pulled his first two autos ever. Sweet. Congratulations. Your son's 10. He pulls straight fire all the time. Yeah. Yeah, my daughter pulls fire too. Pokemon though. Think Shohei's going to re-sign with the Angels? I wouldn't if I were him. I don't think he will, no. I think he goes to the Dodgers. All right, we got an auto here. Ronnie Simon of the Tampa Bay Rays. Going to Matt. Congratulations. Got a few more of those coming out of here. Gunner. 
kind of feel like turning a game on now. Now that we got it's nine o'clock. Wow. Time just snuck by. What do I want to watch? Atlanta's up three nothing. Are the Reds on still? Yes. Oh, zero zero. Kind of interested to see what happens in that game. Toronto at the Reds. Oh, it's only radio. Oh, Apple TV. Yay. Wow. Braves. Okay. I never want to miss an opportunity to watch some team put a hurting on those Giants. Henry Davis to 250. No free ads around here. Aqua Lunar Crater, James Wood to 125. Going to Washington, Brandon. Freeman going to, I don't know, he, Freeman or Mookie could probably catch him. Just got to keep the pedal to the metal, stay healthy. Evan Flow comes for Strikers Hat game. Give it a six out of ten. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. I can't argue. It's not my best hat. B tier hat. Depending on who you are. If you're from this area, it's an A tier hat. If you're not, it's either a B or a C. But it does have the longevity. That old English D can't go wrong. Harris is up, eh? We got a parallel insert and an auto. Kumar Rocker, four of 50 gold. Bowman Scouts, 100. And that one's going to Cyrus. Congratulations. Wow, Cobb's feeling hot. Oh, wow, it snuck through. For an RBI. How's he doing? Oh, he's doing real well. Who called Michael Harris earlier having a good game? He's three for three. Man, if Harris picks it up, the release, like Chrome and all the releases just got even better. Should you hold the pink Freeman or sell it with him in MVP running? I'd hold it. You're not going to get much if you sell it. It's worth it to hold it and hopefully get 40 bucks in credit for it. Maybe. Arias and Wilbur Sanchez, Magenta Crater. To 199. Going to J. We got two of those crater parallels. Sitting second with Ob. Yeah, I mean, he's that's all you can ask for is to have an opportunity to have an opportunity to succeed. And by that, I mean, at least be playing, be up with the big club, and then be low in the lineup, like, or be, you know, batting high in the lineup, like one through four. If you're batting one through four, you at least have a chance for, like, an additional plate appearance, hitting an RBIs, 
Marion Boyd to 499. I got the purple sapphire, this gentleman. I hope he does well. Gunner rookie of the year favorites. It's a nice little set. Check out my eBay store. I think I have a couple of these sets. The rookie of the year favorites loaded. I'll drop you another link because I spent so much time listing cards and I have a sale going right now. It ends it's just for this weekend. Ends on Sunday. Let me drop a link for you. If you want to do a little shopping, shoot me an offer. All right, we're going to get an auto out of here, too. Got a hobby box. Tops Chrome Platinum. Base is loaded for Olsen. And it's over. Oh, wow. Washington actually put up eight runs. I wonder how many of those went to Lo were credited to Lorenzen. Bottom of the eighth, Toronto at Cincy. We got two men on. Oh, yeah. It's just a... Can't listen to it. So it's no good to me. Easy. Easy. It's a copyright claim in the making. Michael asks, you ever get cards graded? Michael, I have gotten cards graded. I suggest you watch the previous video. I also made a video about like how to submit to PSA. Some tips and tricks in there may interest you. All right, a whole box, quick ripped, ready to find the parallels. And an autograph. Here we go. The auto has been the second card every single time. It must be how I'm like laying the packs out. Brantley. Michael Brantley. Is he in the league anymore? He he went from being like an elite batting average type of guy. And I haven't heard anything. Has he hurt? To 150. Brantley. Going to Eric. Monty Irving to two ninety nine. Juan Gonzalez to a hundred. Sean Carlos Stanton to a hundred. These are like the same. We got a red and a pink. They're both numbered to 100. I wonder if they're supposed to be the same color, but they're just not. They look, it's like pink. George Brett, X-Fractor. 
Gene Segura to 199. Carlton Fisk, Gold Wave to 50. Cal Ripken Jr. to 100. A lot of cards numbered to 100 in this checklist. Maglio? There's Maglio in there. Cardshells.com. Use code STRIKEFORCE. All one word or STRIKER10. Let's get a good deal. I don't like it when cards are numbered to the same number in, in a release. Multiple things numbered to 100. I don't really like that. I want them all to be numbered differently. I'm just being picky. Like for the most part, that, that release is really, really good. Finest. Three hundred seventy five likes. We need a few more. If you haven't hit it yet, now's the time. Treasure chest. That's right. Forgot about the treasure chests. Still haven't gotten one. How sweet would that be? Very sweet. Here we go, Adley rookie. And a true blue. That's I think that's like a case hit right there. Rookies, the rookies auto. Z killed Duran to 150. Nice color match. Pete Alonzo refractor. Crawford to 199. They just need to get Crawford out of all releases. He's been in plenty. Step to the side, Crawford. Let some let some new guys come in. Funny how there's always an issue with the the pitch relay thing when they let when they load the bases. Something wrong here. I uh, I don't know. Jermaine Palacios, hype force baby. Manessis to two fifty. Corbin Carroll. Let's get that in a refractor. Colas Refractor, Machado to 300. Hey, we got a bonus auto. Hot box, essentially. Miguel Vargas, good one. We lucked out. That Vargas is going to Sean. Congratulations. I had a green Vargas auto. Sold it for like a hundred bucks raw. Just to give you an idea. 
kind of range we're looking at. Of course, it was chrome. This is finest. A little bit different. Speaking of chrome, Detroit's up one to nothing over Cleveland, top of the seventh. Boston smoking the Yankees. Remember how that line looked a little bit weird? Yankees were dogs at home. Another credit card. Avi Baez Prism. Yeah, Noah. If I were you, I would get some blaster boxes or at least a blaster box. Maybe a few of this right here. Tops Chrome. It's really good. You could also get some maybe hanger boxes of Series 2, 2023 Series 2. Still affordable is 2022 Tops Update. <clears throat> you could get some hanger boxes of that. I'm talking about best bang for your buck. Have a lot of stuff to open for an affordable price. Those are all things you could get. If you're planning on spending that whole 300 bucks or you said 300, right? How did I lose that already? I lost your message already. But yeah, if you're spending that, if you're talking about spending the whole shebang, if you go to like blowoutcards.com, that's one place you can go. Brandon Hughes to 50. You could get an order together and get free shipping. I think if it's over $199 and no tax and free shipping and you can mix and match, get a bunch of different kinds of things. 2022 Tops Chrome update is affordable. You can get a whole hobby box of that for like 60 bucks. Add that to the to the mix. So for 300 bucks, you can get a lot of stuff. Purple. Gross hands to 250. Series two hanger boxes, tops chrome, and 2022 tops update. No, that's that's key. Tops update and tops chrome update. Those are the last several releases that are good and affordable. I would like I'd go 22 update over series two maybe, but just the only reason is because it's still kind of tough to pull stuff. They made a lot of series two. They didn't make as much as series one, but it's just it's still a little trickier. It'll be a little more expensive to go 22 update, but you get more hits and there's a maybe a better yeah there's a probably a better rookie selection out of 22 update than 2023 series two you could also go 2022 heritage high number very affordable for a good checklist not going to get as many fancy cards like parallels and stuff and you're not guaranteed autographs but you know you can get a, like a hobby box of that for 70 bucks i think or 65 bucks Hobby box a 22 chrome update for 60 bucks. Shea Langoliers. And then you could supplement a bunch of 23 tops chrome blaster boxes in there. You'd have a nice spread for 300 bucks. Of the new new. Davis, does this look like trivia night? You come in just asking a bunch of questions, and then if people don't feel like asking, you say that we suck? Come on. 
And you're not even a member? How dare you? Riley Prism. Riley Green, Rookie Prism. I don't know if I pulled any of these yet. I got to go back through my collection. If I got a Riley Prism, I got to set them aside. Or maybe I'd buy one. You could probably buy one raw for pretty cheap. Tyler Freeman to 350. What a fun game. Pittsburgh, Minnesota. Nothing, nothing. That was a gross one on paper, too. Dermis Garcia to 299. Hype force, full effect. Have you heard anything about the taco fractors? The hype kind of died off. They're really hard to pull and they're very expensive. Go look at some single prices of taco fractors. <laughs> Tons of hype still. Very desirable card. They're just super hard to pull. That's the problem. It's like pulling a red, you know, like how often, I mean, we got lucky tonight, pulled a few reds, but here we got a, a little change of pace, 2022 Bowman Chrome. <laughs> Davis comes for the trivia. The baseball trivia. <laughs> You're the trivia master. Why are you asking Chris <laughs> to become the trivia master? You just that was your plan the whole time, wasn't it? Start asking baseball trivia and then let someone else take over the as question master so that you can play. I, I mean, I gotta give you credit for your moxie. Your chutzpah. Had a plan the whole time. Now he's roping in Chris to become the question master. Something tells me Chris is down. Do you ever open junk wax? Sometimes. Not a whole lot. I got a couple of boxes of junk wax on the shelf for a rainy day. It's not really junk wax. Oh, I like this. Look at that. We got a Matt McLean. Dude is a boss. Matt McLean first parallel. That's a nice card to 199. It's got some value. 22 Bowman Chrome. Even better with Matt McLean firsts. Now, why would he have a first in Bowman? He was a 17th overall pick. So he didn't make it into Bowman draft. So they just carried him over into Bowman Chrome. Nathan Hickley, gold diamond, gold mini diamond, 32 out of 50. Sloppy sig. But there's a lot of work. There's a lot of letters there. So at least he tried and didn't just like NH. I respect a sloppy sig more than I respect a, hey, you got to autograph 7,000 cards and you just put your initials on there. Yeah, Julio's on fire. Julio and Bobby are both. On absolute fire right now. Two of the hottest players in the game, if if not the hottest. Nice catch, Lane Thomas, my guy. Defensive play of the game. I 
think the problem with Lane Thomas is his, his name is just too generic. Like Josh Smith. Hendry Mendez. It's to 50. 12 of 50. Going to the Brewers. Jeremy. Brian Acuna first. And purple, Victor Acosta. Number to 250. Padres hit. Cyrus. Oh, ho, 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 we got the best one. Jackson Chirio. Oh, my. Man, we are on fire. This is the second one I pulled. And, I mean, we haven't been opening these boxes very much. Jeremy crushed it. Crushed it. It's the next big guy to come up. I don't know. I don't know when. Probably next year. But super talented. Young prospect. Stud. Great place to hit. Congratulations. That's a big boy. Hot B. Hit of the break. Man, we're going through 55 points like they're free. That's the thing about opening Chrome. If you open up a lot of Chrome, you better have some 55 points. From, from card shells. Todd, welcome. Thanks for becoming a hitter. Couple cards left in this box. Reed Detmer's rookie. Not too bad. Not too bad. Numbered to 299. Tree Hose Auto's a symbol. It's like Prince. All right, final two boxes. We got some 2021 Bowman Draft Sapphire Edition. All right, baby, come on. The last box of this we opened was phenomenal. Let's carry over the luck into this one. Alex Benelas, that's a eBay 101, one of 15. It's his first. Brewers are hitting. And we got a Blaze Jordan here. Sapphire to 15 first. Let's go, Benelas. Be good. Be good for us. Riley. Morales. Job. The entire future of the Tigers relies on his right arm. Should get at least we should get one more parallel. Usually you get two out of these boxes. You're supposed to get two. Sometimes you get a bonus, but there is parallel number two. It's a yeller. Oh, it's a big one. Colton Kowser, yellow first sapphire to 99. Oh, it could have been anybody. 
It's one of the biggest ones to get out of here. Going to the Orioles, Jay. Congratulations. That is a beauty. There's another big one to get. Jordan Lawler. Huge one. One of the main guys we're looking for right there. Last pack. Lawler of the D-backs going to Travis. We got Asa Lacey, Selvage, Lyle, and Hendricks. Let's take care of that Lawler. It's a big boy. I'm putting him on the stage. So much I like it. Last but not least, a Breaker's Delight box. The last one, we got a red, a true red auto of Jared Schuster. Let's top that with the taco. Can you even get tacos out of here? I don't know. I know the Orioles are just so loaded with process. The Orioles and the Reds, so loaded. I think they sent Kowser back down, though, didn't they? Here we go, here we go. Last chance. Refractor pulls. At least one big one out of here. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, that's a big one. That's a Julio variation. That's not just an everyday refractor. Julio Rodriguez image variation. Rookie cup card. Keep it going. There's a gold. Hunter Green to 50. Youth Quake. Followed by a true blue auto. Of Joe Ryan. Not an auto. Sorry, I got my cards mixed up. Autos are coming next. Joe Ryan to 150. Nelson Velasquez. And... And that... Seems really thick. Michael Stefanik. Well, the Julio. Julio made that box worthwhile. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Isn't it funny how a simple change, tiny little mechanical change to his swing, and now he's the best player in the world? All right, time for the hit parade. Couple of big boys up in here. All right, you ready to check them out? In no particular order. We got a Victor Acosta to 250. Tyler Freeman to 350. Gross hands, perp. Riley Green, prism. A base Shea Langlier's autograph. Brandon Crawford to 199. Manny to 300. Manassas to 250. Palacios, base auto. Irvin to 299. Stanton to 100. Gonzalez to 100. Segura. To 199. Fisk to 50. Three of 50. Cal Ripken Jr. To 100. Woods Richardson base. O'Neill purple speckle. Quan to 399. Freeman base. Diaz base. Green to 50. Joe Ryan to 150. Velasquez auto. Stefanik auto. Henry Davis to 250. Jared Schuster, true purple refractor auto. Ohapi, negative. Ronald Acuna Jr., that is one of 125. Blue sonar. A Marion Boyd refractor first auto. Ezekiel Duran, it's case hit to 150. True blue. 
James Wood to 125, Wilbur Sanchez to 199, Ronnie Simon, base first auto. Benelas, one of 15, gold, sapphire first. Colton Kowser, yellow, sapphire first to 99. Jordan Lawler, we got that one too, base. Matt McClain, first to 199. Nathan Hickley, that is a gold mini diamond to 50. Jackson Chirillo, the hot B. There's his first autograph. Hendry Mendez, gold shimmer auto, or gold shimmer to 50. Then we got a Reed Detmers, rookie, to 299. Brandon Hughes, true gold to 50. Garcia to 299. Vargas, green shimmer to 99, or green wave, actually. Michael Brantley, aqua to 150. Got this Kumar Rocker, case hit. Bowman Scouts, top 100, gold to 50. And the Julio image variation, rookie cup. Okay. Well, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy yourself. I'm going to enjoy myself. Going to get these cards out to you real quick. We've been able to get these out on Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to be able to tomorrow because of the Lapeer Days Festival is right. Like they close the road off right near the post office. So I'll try to get them out to you. Worst case scenario, they go out on Monday, but we'll see what I can do. All right, guys, this was a fun.